I am happy to note that the Nagaland Geological Park as part of the Ajati Ka Amrit Mahasar celebrations that are being observed across the country. It's celebrating one species, one week program. And the species that we are focusing on is the Blythe Stragopan. As we know that Blythe Stragopan is the state bird of Nagaland, but unfortunately the bird is under immense pressure and it's being threatened by anthropogenic factors as well as given its unique ecology because it's mostly a ground dwelling bird. Now I'm sure that these uh, one species one week program will go in a long way in generating awareness towards the conservation of this threatened bird and will help raise awareness uh, amongst the, uh, the public in general towards the conservation of nature. We are happy to be part of the Ajadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav, which besides other things also seeks to celebrate the natural heritage of the country. The Blitz Trekkerman Conservation and Breeding Centre at Kohima is designated as the coordinating zoo for the conservation breeding of the endangered Blitz Trekkerman for the whole country. It is initiated by the Nagaland State Forest Department who works in collaboration with the Central Zoo Authority of India. The Blitz Dragoban is the state bird of Nagaland and it is the flagship species for the conservation of primary forest area and other pheasant species. The species has become endangered because its population is believed to be small and declining due to the widespread high level of hunting and continued habitat destruction. Blitz Dragoban occurs in Bhutan, Myanmar and in northeastern state of India in Arunachal Pradesh, Mizoram, Manipur and in Nagaland. The general objective of the Dragoban Conservation and Breeding Center is ex situ conservation of the Blitz Dragoban for the purpose of conserving the gene pool with the possibility of reintroducing it back to its home range to strengthen its wild population. The other objective is to carry out model research on their habitat, their behavior and breeding biology in captivity to ensure their survival as well as to induce natural breeding. The detailed study of the breeding behavior of Dracoban birds have been done in our breeding center and it has been closely monitored. The mating behavior of uh, Dracoban birds starts in March and April, so the nesting has to be made in February, March. The nests are prepared by ferns, mosses and twigs which are collected from the forest and arranged in a very natural way so that the birds are able to nest. The size of the clutch is around 2 to 4 eggs and the incubation of the eggs takes for around 28 days. The blitz chicks are pre kosher which means they are able to move and feed immediately after hatching. The blitz dragoban conservation and breeding center was successful in natural breeding of dragoban blight which was reported in 2016 and one male chick Teja hatched out successfully from natural incubation of 28 days and it is surviving till death. Another two chicks hatched out naturally in 2020 and in 2021 two, three chicks hatched out naturally which is an achievement for our breeding center. In the recent year, the success rate of breeding is mostly attributed to the natural incubation method. However, side by side, an effort has been made to breed them artificially by use of other unconventional methods. The Dragoban Conservation and Breeding Center Kohima Nagaland was established in the year 2012 from the erstwhile Kohima Zoo located at an altitude of 1,680 meters. Blight Dragoban is classified as a vulnerable species in the IUCN Red List. Realizing the need to conserve this vulnerable species, the Kohima Blight Dragoban Conservation and Breeding Center was set up solely for the conservation and breeding of Blight Dragoban. To maintain hygiene and sanitation, enclosures are cleaned thoroughly on daily basis. In order to keep the birds fit and healthy, a strict diet chart protocol is followed. Clyde's Tragopan pheasant is the largest of all the Tragopans. Like most pheasants, 
The male is brightly colored. It is recognized by its rusty red head, yellow facial skin, and that it is spotted with small white dots on its back called ocelli. Females are dull and mostly gray in color. In the wild, light stragopan have a very particular source of food. They normally feed on all different kinds of seeds, berries, fruits, and buds. Being the only breeding center for the species in the whole world, the Blight Stragopan Breeding Center takes immense care of the birds. During the breeding seasons, mosses and ferns are collected from the forest and these are carefully placed in their nesting baskets, which are then placed in strategic locations for the birds to lay their eggs. The center in the past has been successful in the captive breeding of these birds which is a big achievement for the center. In the future, the center aims to release the captive bred birds to its natural habitat in order to boost its wild population.